Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 198 of What is the Answer? Press the button. I'm Marie. And I'm Dominique. And what day is it? 11th. Is it the 11th? It's Thursday, the 11th of April. Okay. It's... Well, I was about to say it's six o'clock, but you all know it's six o'clock because you're here. I don't know what else I was going to say then. But it's Thursday the 11th of April and we're here. Yes, we're it's a day early. Body. And sorry we're a little bit late. I was having problems with um, internet. I don't know what's going on, but I've been having real issues with Sky Mobile on my phone. My phone just keeps saying my number's not there one day, then the next day my phone works. There's obviously gremlins in the system again. Yeah, because I'm Sky and I've not had any issues, so it's not a network-wide thing, is it? No, but I went on Twitter or X or whatever it's called, and it, that's the only place you ever get any sense, and it was saying that there's some outage on some of the mobile numbers. Um, so I had to keep switching it off, and it was funny because my mother-in-law was trying to contact me and say, your phone number, she rang me on the house phone and says, your phone number's not, have you disconnected your number? No, I thought my phone had been quiet, which is quite good. Lisa's saying hers too. Uh, so it dotted around all over. Yeah, it's weird because David's on the. We're all on the same account, but his is fine. So it must yeah. just be. Who knows? No doubt they've probably been hacked or something. Anyway, we're here at last. Yes, we are. Sorry, I'm we just are. trying to finish something off before I put it down, which I know is right there. I'm done. Um. Hello, everybody. I can see every yeah. I know they've had an outage again today. Well, it was weird because I shouted David because I thought, oh, the internet's gone off. It, it would not just would not connect to Zoom. It just kept throwing me out. I thought, oh. but anyway, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. <sighs> right. Sorry. I'm just catching up. Yeah, I'm, I'm not long been in. I've not long been in from work, and when you said I'm being delayed, I could see a message that needed responding to, and I responded to it, and then they've come back with more questions. So I just needed to send a holding message to say, I'll sort it out when I finish. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I honestly don't know what day it is today. What to, I'm thinking, oh, it's dark today for three o'clock. Yeah, because it's not three o'clock, it's, it's six not o'clock. Three. It's definitely six o'clock, yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, let's hope you get some sense out of us today. Um, before we go any further, shall we start with our announcement? Oh, uh, before we do any of that, I was just going to say, I'm on a delay at the minute. It has been a whirlwind of six days. <laughs> I think yes. we can say that. From I'm blaming you. And I'm blaming other people. <laughs> I, can't blame I can't remember who to blame from the podcast last week for the veg boxes. But within within six days, we've... Um, we put out veg boxes on the yeah. internet. They sold out. You I was going to say constructed, all. but I can't. We've put the idea together, released them, sold out. Dyed them, around. found them, ready to dyed. be packaged. Yes, yes. In less than a week. I mean, it's just bonkers. And in between that, I've been busy winding the next blanket club, trying to get ahead of myself with that. Yes. We had an afternoon tea that turned into chaos. You you were easy to swear. That's all I'm going to say. Normally, you're quite... You go, no. You're like, no. And that's sometimes what I get. No, Marie. No, we're not doing it. You were I, all for everything at the weekend, on the afternoon tea. Because I was delirious with exhaustion. <laughs> Everyone got me to low ebb. So, um, so for those of you not with us at afternoon tea 
I was about to say I made the mistake. I didn't because somebody who was coming to afternoon tea wanted to see my caser top. So I thought, well, I'll wear it. Um, well, the top, I think, got worn by almost everybody at afternoon tea. Magic jumper. It was a magic jumper. Ooh. Hang on. <laughs> it, it's hanging on the thing. This is the magic jumper. And tall, short, I mean, every everybody tried it and it fit everybody. Every shirt, um, bust, no bust. Yeah. Um, so a couple of people said, I think I really want to make that. And because it doesn't take much wool, it's on big needles, it knits up quickly. And I said to three people, well, I think I'd quite like to do another one. So why don't we, the four of us, informally... You never just, said the four, you just said, why don't we... But I was talking to them three people. Okay. Why don't we just all knit it at the same time to motivate each other? Somebody else overheard, and then it became, well, let's just do a bit of a knit along. So that's what we're going to do, everybody. And it wasn't just one person, it was everybody was going, well, I think I would like to do it. Well, I think I might do it. I might do it. It went... A little bit silly. Well, and then, of course, everyone went, how much wool does it take? Well, uh, and, and then everyone went bonkers for wool as well. But not so, only did you say about the make-along as well, you've agreed to do a Zoom at some point with it. Yeah, well... <laughs> yes, I did. So, I am excited about it. I'm just very tired after a very very long week um we're going to do if anybody wants to join in we're going to do a caser knit along yes i was going to put it in but i've literally just come in from work and i couldn't bother to get changed i mean it's so informal all we're going to do is knit the jumper t-shirt whatever you want to call it um but if there's other people doing it it might motivate you to get it knit Yes. I'll say quicker. There's no there is no rush. But as with you as when you saw last week with the veg box, a little idea sometimes grabs legs and just runs away. So then it was decided, because we're vending at the <laughs> at the wool monty. Yes. On the seventh and eighth of June, why don't we have them knit and then anyone that wants to can wear them? if you come into the wool monty so yes. that is the loose goal knit a t in 58 days yes and we were you know we were we were talking about it and you can share on social media that would be lovely if you wanted to tag us on social media or um we've got the facebook um Knit and Natter group, haven't we, for Wool is the Answer. But yes. tag us, it would be lovely to see um, what you make. Got, make it, make it from start. I've got a hashtag. Oh, good, you've got a hashtag. What's the hashtag? Well, I mean, I've not checked to see if anyone else is using it, but I can't imagine they will. Hashtag Witter Kesa Mal. I like that. It does what it says on the tin. It does what it says. So use your... Use your own stash up, use different wool, buy some wool from us if you that you know if you want to come and join in the madness. Everybody, but it mad. doesn't have to be our wool, it does not doesn't have to be our wool. Go stash but, diving, yes. So, just to give you some, so it's a paid pattern. I mean, we've not, it's not collaborative, it's not collaborating with the designer. Um, so you will have to buy your pattern. I'll put all the details below here, but it's the Kesa. Well, I said I think it's just called Kesa. It's there. It's by this it. dot bird dot knits. Higher, right there. Yes. So that's what the picture you're looking for if you're searching on Ravelry. That's the picture oh, that you're looking for. I will put a link. Um. Uh, so just to give you 
So because everyone kept trying mine on, I knit mine. I did size three. Don't ask me what it was. It's just the third size. I made it longer because I kept knitting until I used all the yarn. And I used 150 grams. And, I mean, I've literally come in from work. I've not done anything, but I have I have measured my T-shirt to give you some idea. So underarm to underarm, this is just laid flat on a table. Underarm to underarm, mine is 57 centimetres or 22 and a half inches. Double it's it, the front. obviously. The front. That's, that's literally just... Yeah, it falls flat and then underarm to underarm, fifty-seven centimeters, twenty-two and a half inches, and you don't keep increasing. But the shape of it, it obviously flares a bit. It's sixty-five centimeters wide or twenty-five and a half inches wide at the bottom, and armpit to hem is twenty-eight centimeters or eleven inches. Don't ask me what the pattern says. You should. I just know. I got to the pattern. I'm quite tall anyway, and I just kept going. It it has got massive ease. The pattern has massive ease. So I just wanted to give you some idea what a size three. Because it says like. on here that the top is meant to be worn with between five to fifteen inches positive ease. It's yes. because it's knit on larger needles, isn't it? So it yes. gives it that drape. And we found that. On some people, it was slightly more fitted, but it still had drip. People yes. who were very slim, it really had a lot of drip, but hung lovely. It was just bizarre, wasn't it? it but was... it didn't look, for those that were really slim, it didn't look like they'd got a jumper on that was too big for no. them. It, it hung. It, it yeah. just hung right, didn't it? Yeah. But it was just... Because when something... When a pattern gives that much positive ease... We can all get confused about, yeah. well, is that finished size? Is that my body? So that's the only thing I can tell you is what my what my size three measures. And I was about bang on gauge with it. Yeah. And I followed the pattern other than making it longer. And that was out of 150 grams or 630 meters. Yeah. I mean, I'll be fairly confident to say if you had 200 grams of something, you'll easily get it no matter what size you were doing. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And I think if you did a size one and you're not very tall, I think you might get it out of 100 grams. Mm. But um, our Barbara's saying hers is very drapey too. It, it just fits nicely. Now, the only thing I will say... The only modification I am going to make when I knit my second one, for me, I think it's a really wide neck. What does the pattern show? What does it show on the pattern? The pattern picture shows a wide neck. Yeah, it is quite a wide neck there, isn't it? Yeah, see, I think mine, I feel like mine's slightly too wide for me. Right. That's my personal preference. So... I am going to cast on the smaller, well, I say that, I can't remember if you'd change, but if I can, I'm going to reduce the number of stitches I cast on for literally just for, because there's a, oh, I mean, I can't show on you. On the neck. There's a, there's a really, really nice detail as you cast on. You're talking, you're talking when it says, um, cast on, cast on. There's this detail. And it's beautiful. If I can, I'm going to make that like first two rows, three rows smaller, and then I'll just increase yeah. there. But that's that. That would be if I can't do it. It's not the end of the world. But I just think it feels quite wide. I mean, I know that's yeah. really difficult. Did you to use see, the bigger needles to cast it on? I followed pattern exactly. I'm just looking to see, because maybe if you'd done it on smart, I don't know what it says. So. so whatever it says. So that is, I think it's a fantastic pattern. And if I make the next one the same, it's not the end of the world. But I'm going to, given the choice, I will try and make it an inch or two slightly smaller. smaller. Um, but, yes, yeah. that's, the, that's the only thing I can say. Lucy's saying, obviously, she's tiny, would it fit? There was, 
people of all different heights and sizes tried it on Lucy and it really did look flattering because of the drape. It gets it's not as if you're knitting it and it's wide and it just hangs wide. How some some crop tops can do, can't they? They can just look like a bit too wide. It just yeah. fell really, really nicely. It did, yeah. Yeah. It there wasn't a there wasn't a body shape and we had lots of different body shapes that it didn't look good on and that was people trying it over clothes that they were wearing you know it yeah it were it seemed to look really nice so yeah well enough that i think almost everybody if not everybody there at afternoon tea 23 people were hands up saying yes i want to join in yes because they'd liked it so much i think so. barbara's right she said maybe the designer would like to know what we're doing Maybe well, it might be nice just to drop her a message and let her know because we'll be people will be buying the pattern. That is Barbara, that has crossed my mind more than once this week. Mm. But I, I'm all that it's done is crossed my mind at like three o'clock in the morning and I've not done anything about it. So what I'll do is I'll write it down. Um so while you're writing it down, I'm going to show you the colour that I've chosen to make it in. So I'm going to make it nice and bright in fairy godmother. Um so and then obviously I'll have it, it'll be a good sample for the the, the stall as well. So that's yeah. the colour I'm going for. And what colour are you going to go for this time? Because you've obviously knitted in the jade, which was the one of the blanket club. Yes. Yeah. So I could I couldn't make a decision between four colours. So I went round the room and took a vote, and this is what won the vote. I've got to be honest, I think I might just be tired and I might need to come back to it. I'm not feeling it at the minute, which yeah. is, but I am, McLean has been picked. It was my choice, it was one of my choices, and I love McLean. I'm too, I'm tired at the minute. I know I'm yeah. tired and I'm not feeling it. So watch this space. I might change it, but yes, and McLean don't knit it totally. in something that you're not you're not going to wear. I mean, that's I'm, not. I'm saying this. I'm I'm still on my own because I did have originally amethyst, and I don't know whether I wanted in a solid colour or I wanted it because we've got nothing in amethyst either. So yes, I may go back to amethyst. I um, love McLean. I've got a cardigan yeah. in McLean, not the colour. I don't know what it, it's because I'm tired and I can't face fact, it. I'm going to change my mind straight away. I am going back to amethyst. So whenever Dominique, poor Dominique's going to go in that shed, I'll have two amethyst, please. I'm not in a rush to cast it on anyway, but I do need to get it done. Um, but oh. people are saying they've got all different colours. So um, Sue says she's going to do it in sapphire. That'll be beautiful because the sapphire is ripped. That's what I did my cardigan. It's beautiful, Sue. Yeah. What else have we got? We've got... Bird of Paradise. Oh, oh, a whirl would be nice. Wendy's saying about a whirl, that would be oh, beautiful. A whirl yeah. would look stunning. Lucy yes. would like a deep red yarn. Has she seen the, have you seen the garnet? Lucy, that's all I'm saying. Um, oh, a fluffy one. Oh, with a bit of more hair in. Yeah. Um, so many people bought so I mean, it was amazing on Sunday, but I really can't remember what, Colours people bought, but I am sure people Too, bought some yak. Truly I'm, scrumptious. I'm tempted to do it in yak to see how different it drapes, but it drapes so nicely in the four ply. I don't think I'm. Let's just face it, I'm not casting mine on yet. And when I come to cast it on, I'll make a sensible decision. Um, yeah. But I think it would. I think it would look stunning in yak. Because that drapes anyway. Anita's uh, asking when we're starting. Well, any, anytime. Anita, those of you, some of you that were there at the retreat have already cast it on and are already onto the lace. So whenever you like. I mean, does it make sense? I don't, I don't know if it makes sense in my head. I'm trying to communicate what we've got in our head. There'll be a hashtag to put on Instagram. And put, Facebook. It works on Facebook as well. And Facebook. Put it in our knit and natter. Now, we've not run anything like this before, but I know watching other people's podcasts, Instagram throws a wobbly sometimes. So will you tag us as well as using the hashtag to make it more searchable, I think? Yes. Just so we can see everything. Yeah. And again, you can either tag us by at, what is the answer, or hashtag 
Well, is the answer because no. it does. It, it, that's the saying the hashtags are not working very well so oh, I was say, we do pick those up we have been picking those up but is it intermittent uh, and i don't know but um kelly and gainer lay family aunt and tales from cuckoo land have just done a um like a make along and they were really struggling so they keep saying will you right. tag us yeah at us rather than just use the hashtag right so um yeah, anyone that's coming to the wall, it, it, take as long as you like. I mean, we've not said anything. Like, well, there's not prizes or anything. It's just a bit of a community all knitting on a similar project at the same time. We thought it would be lovely if when we were at the Wall Monty, there were people turning up in the jumpers and we yeah. could have photos that it would be lovely, wouldn't it? I just mean, that we've community. Got... We've got Buxton before then. That's even better, but that's only a month away. So, um, and you know what I'm like? I hate, I hate it when we had this conversation on Sunday about Stephen West make alongs, and I hate that people feeling the pressure. So I've done the maths for you. It's 58 days till the one Monty, and if you knit 200 grams, it's 14, no, yeah, 200 grams, it's 14 grams a day, which is really not a lot of knitting, is it? So don't feel like, how am I going to knit a jumper in two months? Because it's not, it's a T. It's short-sleeved, big needles, and there's no time limit. Don't feel any pressure. It's more an encouragement than a race, isn't it? You know, yes. we'll each other how are you finding it are you what size are you know you're doing it it's that sort of thing isn't it i'm struggling i don't understand this yes can i see it oh i like that oh well i'm not feeling mine oh i really like that i think i want to do it in red or yes. it's more that than anything yes. else it's about having fun and if anybody wants to three weeks in we can get together we'll run a zoom just yes. an hour to get together like we do for the blanket clubs yeah you can just come and show your progress and ask questions and so rather than setting a date we'll just say on here in a couple of weeks time how's everybody getting on would people like to have a zoom and take yeah. it from that con consensus there yes yeah, yeah perfect and do it like that so um yeah a bit of fun when you're all just knitting the same thing. Yeah. And then wearing it at a wool show if you want to. I mean, we'll try and make, I will try and make some sense of, you know, I'll put it all down underneath here. But if you've got any questions, ask. Yeah. And we will do a post. I'll get to get, I'll, I'll sort something out for a post on, on social media or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, we can we I mean, can get that sorted. Oh yeah, bamboo is good. Yeah, you see, bamboo would be really nice. Bamboo would be lovely. Because that drapes beautifully. Oh, well, you, Lucy's saying so. There's a base. You just need the colour. Yeah. Eve's saying your maths is wrong. It's sixteen grams a week. A week. It is a week. Yeah. Thank you. So that's two grams a day. As I was saying it, I kept thinking, 14 grams a day. And I was trying to do 14 times 58 in my head. I'd done the maths. It was there, thereabouts. No, it is. Oh, I... It's eight, two, two, uh, oh. 100 grams is 420 metres. It's 14 metres, not 14 grams. 14 metres a day. Anyway, if you just knit a bit every yeah. day, you will yes. get it finished eventually, and that's yeah. the way to look at it. Yes. Or I was just trying to break it down for people so you don't feel overwhelmed like I feel at the minute. 14 metres a day is nothing, is it? So... There you go. That's it. Was just trying to make you feel better, and I've just confused everybody. But yes, <sighs> but, but yes. So it'll be lovely. But I, I, I do now need some wool dyeing. Yeah. 
no rush. Like, well, you know, you're not going to get it done in the next few days or week. Whenever you get it done, I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, my brain That's stopped. unless everybody else orders it in Amethyst, then you'd better get in that shed. Yeah. My brain has stopped working, Lucy. But it's fine. Um, yeah, so there you go. If that sounds like a bit of fun, then join us. And I'm going to, I'm going to keep asking you questions, just see how much we can blow your brain. Right, so now, the first veg box, which was carrots and parsnips is yes. ready hopefully have you had any deliveries today yes oh perfect so that will be posted out on monday the um yarn box the um your first yarn box for the veg christmas veg box will be posted out on monday so next week we will be putting on the internet the next month's installment because we this first one was really really quick because we had to get it out so we're going to give you a little bit longer um, so if you missed carrots and parsnips, you'll be able to join in on the next one if you want to. And yes. what is the next one, Dominique? Because I can't remember. Well, I can tell you because it's written down, but it's written down over there. Do you want right. me to well, tell you? Yes, please. We would like to know because I haven't got a clue. I know the vegetables in, I don't know which order they come in. So no, I've had to do it. We've had to pick them so that you're getting them in the right month for planting. Because there's no point getting something that needed planting in March, in April, in another I, month. I've got to say, Pat, I do like how you keep changing your name on on uh, YouTube. We now have you down as Pat, Mummy to Dominique Salisbury. Just in case Dominique doesn't understand it to you, I do like that. Hello, Pat. Um, right. Oh, everything, everything of yours is done, Sarah. It's all that's all sorted. We're oh, all ready to go. We're all on top of it. We just we're on top like of everything, this. which is why my brains stopped working. We're the opposite of a swan that looks elegant on the top and is busy working underneath. We don't look elegant, but we are busy working underneath. So don't panic. It's all under. It's all under control. It's all under control. Everything is done. Right, hang on. Just talk about yourselves while I find the right page in the. Oh, after all that, it was in that book anyway. <laughs> Month two. Oh. Okay. Month two is because you, Dominique, has been working out because obviously, if that you know, you're getting your seeds, so you do need to. There's no point in us giving you seeds, and they should have been put in three months ago. So that's why we've tried to work it out in some sort of order that you will be able to grow vegetables when they can go in the ground. Right now, what have you done? You've crossed it all out, haven't you? Come on. I mean. It's it's not carrots and parsnip. No, it's come back to me. It's not potatoes. I know that because we can't send you potatoes in the seed packet. It's right. purple broccoli. Purple broccoli. And 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 um, well. I mean, I don't know what else is written. And, I mean, I can't even see what I'm... I mean, you can't even see what you're showing us there. Give exactly. us a clue. Just, what's the squiggles? Is there one letter in the squiggles? I might be able to remember it. It looks like May. It looks like May. Purple sprouting broccoli and... May is probably when it needs planting out, so that's why yeah. it's got May written next to it. What's underneath this? Well, then it could be beetroot, but I've crossed it out. No, I think it was beetroot. It was beetroot. Oh, it does say May because that's when it needs planting. Yes, got, that's what I've Because just... we've tried to keep them similar colours as well. Yes, it's beetroot. It's purple sprouting broccoli and beetroot. Which you plant in May. Which plant in May. I'm going to keep the rest as a surprise. I can read some of it. I mean, 
in six days, the co we've, the concept, we've taken the concept of a veg box, we've released it, sold it out, dyed it, wound it, run an afternoon tea, come up with a make along, dyed all your orders and done three 10 hour days at work. And I, I did sarcastically not said well. Say to Dominic when she was agreeing to all these things, shall we run a double double July retreat? I won't say what she said to me. She was very, very rude and she was very I, actually I didn't. I said you can do what you like. I won't be there. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. You can run it, Marie. I won't be there. So um yeah. Yeah, so we're really sorry it was rushed, but if we didn't rush it, we were missing a month. And then you, because you want to get your seeds planted. So they've arrived today. They're here. But Sarah's saying, when will the listing go up each month? It'll go up. What did we like say? The second week of the month. The, the second week of the month. Yes. Yeah, second week of the month, it'll go up. So this time, it's going to go up. A, it's going up a little bit later because obviously. The next one will go up in the middle of May. It's sort of around about the middle of May, the next yes. one will go up. Um, yes. Because we've got the Blanket Club, which is always released at the beginning of the month. So we just needed to try and get out of sync of them both being sent ordered at the same time. That yes. was all. Um, yes. I mean, I any mean, sensible person wouldn't have done this, but we're not sensible people. No. So. I mean, the net, all we need now is for somebody else to come up with another, another idea, isn't it? And, you know... We could then just, you know, start Sarah, blowing bubbles. We will always share it on the podcast and we will always share it on social media. So, and give you more chance than you got this time. Yes, ne next time you will definitely have more time to order it than we did have to cut it quite short because we knew it would it would then morph into the blanket. We had to oven. order the pea. We had to order the peas. <laughs> we didn't order our peas. We had to order the seeds. So that was what we didn't think we'd get anywhere near it, and you all went mad. Yes, but then we were capped at the seed, so yes. we can do it. So, we can do it the other way around now. Yeah, next time we can sort of see how many we've got, and then order the seeds. We had to sort of make it cut it off at a certain point, or else we would have, you know. Anyway, anyway, you don't need to know the nuts and bolts of everything that goes on. Right, right. what have you got to show, Sonic? Have you managed to do any knitting? Absolutely nothing. I've done two rows of my blanket club in the last 20 minutes of knitting last night because I spent the first hour and a half trying to do some admin tasks. So I've done two rows of knitting and that's it. So what have you got to show us? Well, I've only got one thing. I've just lost what was there I am. I was just I've just lost all the comments. Sensible uh, people are but Knitting purple. Not sure who you are, what your real name is. But, yeah, sensible people are boring. Why would you want to just be sensible? Right. I have got something to show you. So I have now, on the Jethro cardigan... Oh, yes. I have finished all my squares. I have joined them... And how together. many squares have you done in total? 36. 36. So what I did last week, I think I'd done... Three different squares, hadn't I? Well, I then realised that I needed to do another fourth square so that I had an equal number so I could put four different ones. So that's what I've done. So I've got four different squares down there. So they are sl all slightly different. Right. So I've got... So how did you make the fourth different? So I just... So it's... Before I said I went like green, blue, and then I just yeah. moved it on one, and then I just swapped the green and the blue the wrong way around on that right. one. It was the only way to do it. It was the only option I'd left because I had yeah. to have a white centre. Um, so I did all those. I've sewn them all in. Um, I um, joined them using the crochet join. I crocheted them join. And there was a... Um, Tannis Fiber had put a, a link when you buy the pattern as to which one to follow. So there was a video on YouTube. Um, and then you join them together. So I've like So joined... that is what the pa the pattern tells you to join them that way. Yeah. The, the pattern shows you how to join them. Or you can mattress stitch them if you want. It's entirely up to you. Yeah. Um, so I've joined them all together. And this morning I have finished off the um 
Oh, the knitted rib. Bottom. The knitted rib at the bottom. And I've just picked up all the stitches for the um, button band. But I'm not going to make it buttons because I'll never, never, ever fasten it. But So I'm just going to do a, um, a button band, but without any buttonholes in. Yeah. Then once I've finished that, I then have to pick up my... I've sort of tried it on and seen what size sleeves I want because it's fairly customizable. And then you pick your stitches up and you knit your sleeves. But I am so happy with it. I love the colours. I can't really try it on because my cables, although I think I've got a meter in, it's all puckered up. Yes. But I'm loving it. So you really, followed really like the, you followed the pattern. At, you've not made any modifications. No, I've not made any modifications. The only thing I've done is I went up a quarter on my. I think the pattern says a three seven five hook, and I did it on a four. Right. But I measured my squares, and my squares are on gauge for what the size should be. Yes. So, um, yeah. So it looks beautiful. It fits nice. I'm really, really happy with it. Um. But yeah, sewing in my ends was a bit of a pain. But I've done it; it's all done. So, sure. have you? How much have you got left of the emerald denim and pearl? I've, whatever. I haven't measured it. Do you want me to no, measure? No, but like it? lots on. Oh like yes, not a lot. I've got no. I've got plenty. I've right. got. I would say I've probably got about thirty grams left of each. Easy. So you had a hundred grams of each of them three, yes. and you've got loads left. Yes. Um, because the you weren't does... sure, were you? You weren't sure. No, because when... no, the pattern does say have 100 grams of each colour, which it says use five colours, because I've used the cream twice. So I've right. done the centre and the outer. I've counted, you know, I've done them the same colour. Right. Um, but you can make it out of scraps. You know, people yeah. made them up out of scraps. There's been lots of different posts on um, social media. And... You could do a different square. You could... Do each square in different scrappy colours, couldn't you? Yes. You could have not not have two the same. Yeah. And I think um, she's running a make-along as well because people had said, are we going to do something? So she's done something similar to what we're obviously doing, just with yeah. a hashtag and just share it and show it. So, yeah, there's some really nice different colours. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's, grow it, it's, it, it's created really quickly because obviously the squares... Yes. Yeah. You know, it does. You can do crochet pieces a lot quicker. Yes. Um, than knitting, but no, I'm really, really pleased. With it. I'm pleased with my colour choice for once. Um, it fits nice. Yeah. So let's just. I just need Excuse to crack me, I'm on. I'm so sorry. And hopefully, um, I can get started on the, tonight. I'd like to think I could finish the um, button band, and then I've just got the sleeves to pick up. So they're going to take a bit of time to do, but. Yeah. But when you think, because when you put it on, so it's a bit like this jumper, really. It's a dropped shoulder, isn't it's it? It's a dropped shoulder, yeah. Yeah. So the, your sleeves are already quite a distance down already. Yes. Yeah, you've have, not got you've not got far to go to. You've got your elbow, have you? No. Let me put it, let's see if I can put it on and you can see. Yeah. So you can see the, yeah. Yes. They nearly are at my elbow, actually. I mean, my elbow's there. So, yeah, it's a good chunk already down. So, yeah. Yes, very nice. So that will definitely be finished for Buxton then. Oh, yes, she says, famous last word, as long as the world doesn't go to put yeah. it in a handcart. Yes, it should be. Um, yes. Because I want to get that finished. I'm working on my crocheted blanket and I'm on the cowl. I've done a little bit more on my cowl, but not, you know... When you're scattering, no, shaking the tree. Yeah, shaking the tree. Very nice. Um, so we're away this weekend, so I think I might bring bring that and my blanket. I'll probably leave. I'll leave the cardigan because it's going to be quite big to move about. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, yeah, and my squares on the other have just taken a back seat really because I wanted to get that cardigan finished. Have you had any more packages delivered? No, but I have had my package delivered from Green Lampkin Yarns, my first... Oh, yes, your first the, advent. The first instalment of my advent, yes. Right. So, and I, I'm putting this out here so you, I don't forget where I put it. So I was thinking, where am I going to put this so I don't lose it? So I went into one of my cupboards where 
straight in front of me was hung the um, Witter Christmas bag that we made. You know, the Christmas tree on, the yes. tote bag. They've gone in there. So when I'm asking, in October, November time, yeah. can you remember where the heck I've put it? You all know now. Everybody knows now. Well, that's where mine went last year, in that bag, hung up in my spare room. That's where they went every yeah. month. I just kept putting them in there, so I knew where they were. Yeah. Um, so I've got nothing else to show you, because as I say, I've really been trying to concentrate on getting that to the point of me knitting on it rather than the crochet. Yeah. So um, I've got yeah, no and, other knitting. And I have... I was about to say I've not sat down, and that is a lie because I've done two jigsaws at the weekend. Over the weekend, I couldn't face my um, cracking the flags because that's colour work, and I knew I couldn't do that. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I didn't do my blanket. My brain wasn't in knitting, so I thought, right, well, I can just... Puzzle. mindlessly sit and do a jigsaw so um but i will take the only thing i'll take away this weekend is my blanket because i'm not doing color work while we're away yeah no i'm going to shove um, my blanket in and i might do the blanket while i'm sat in the car but um liz what color are you doing yours what color are you doing your cardigan are oh. you doing multicolors or have you got a color palette that you've chosen because yes. I know Sally started it. She started doing it. In Is Sally colours. going full on Sally, like really nice bright colours? Well, I think the, I think she's talking about using up her um, uh, attic spin dye. You know the Beatrix Potter. Oh yes. Yeah, but I don't know whether she's doing it doing it all. I don't think she's on today. Um, yeah, there's some really nice colours when you go on. You know, some people have done it in all blues or, you know, like quite mute, not muted colours, but one colour palette. They've used yes. all different colours. Yes. So, yeah. And then others have gone really, really bright. So Because Sally did the, she's just finished a crocheted squared cardigan, but that was four ply and that was squares that were like, she had over yes. 700 in there. Yeah. And they, they were just bright. Really bright. It looked like Elmer the Elephant. They were that, like those little really Yeah, I was about to say letters. bright primary colours, but they were they were just really saturated, beautiful, yeah. beautiful yeah. colours. Um, and she really likes a lot. Of, I always like seeing what Sally's knit because she really uses beautiful colours. So I could imagine Sally doing a almost Lots a different, different colour. Yeah, different colours for I've, each. I've, misunder I've misunderstood, Liz. I thought she meant she was doing the cardigan. She means the cowl. Ah. I was at different times. Oh, in variegated blue. That it's really, it's a really nice pattern. I've got to say, um, it's a really nice pattern. The cowl. Um, Again, that's the kind of thing. Obviously, not a make on, but Victoria, who's on one of our knit and natters, has just finished one. You saw it and went. That's a great idea. I'm going to cast it on. Caroline also saw it because she was on the yes. same little natter. Caroline's cast it on. Liz has seen yours. And that is what it's all about, isn't it? Just yes. seeing something that takes your fancy and thinks, oh, I really like that. I'm going to... And, and especially because I'd said I'd sort of lost my impetus on what to do. I didn't know. Yes. I've got plenty of things. I've got that stripy jumper that I'm still working on. And I've got my squares. But I got. I just needed. I just needed a change. I needed to do something different. Yes. Do you know what I mean? And I was a little bit. I don't know what to do. And then that that um, crochet cardigan came along, and I thought, do you know what? I really want to make that, and it sparked my interest again. And then the same with the cowl. Um, yes. So I know I will go back to the other things. I just needed to put them away just for. You and know. because that cowl's a one skeiner, it yes. is a. It's not a big undertaking. That you might get bored halfway through. It's yeah, it's a nice, fairly quick knit, isn't yes. it? Yeah. Well, that's. I was just trying to catch up on comments because I've missed a load. Um, yeah, Sue said that like the knit along might is going to help her get back into garment knitting. That's that's the whole point, just to try and yes, 
support, inspire, motivate yeah. each other. Exactly. So but it sometimes you... Is you get into that funk, don't you? Of just thinking, I don't know what to do. I don't. I'm not enjoying that. I'm not. You, sometimes you fall out of love with something just temporarily that you're yes. knitting, don't you? Yes. And you just and it's like that jumper. I love that jumper that I'm doing the striper one. But I just needed to put it away because I was sick of looking at it. Yes. I think, like I'd said, because I was knitting it when Dad was ill, and yeah, it just was like it needed to just go away somewhere for me to get yes. it out at another time. I just needed to move on to something different. And you do. We all do. I it, was don't like you? that when I did my after the rain. My God, that took months, and I kept doing it and like yeah. putting half a centimeter on, and then yeah. all of a sudden, months later, a year later, I suddenly thought I'm going to get that finished. Yeah. And I knit about eight inches, yeah. you know, in three or four weeks. But I was just, I then got the motivation to get yeah. it done. So, and it's different to sometimes like you knit it, like we've said before, you can be knitting something and you're not really feeling it. And that's a different thing. Yes. When you're knitting something and thinking, well, I'm just going to keep going, I'll keep going, but your heart's really not in it. Then you need yes. to pull it out. You need to repurpose it. But these things that I've got, they're not, that's not where they are. They are, I want those finished, but just not yeah. at this moment in time. There is a difference between I'm not feeling this and I don't think I'll wear it. If I'm honest with myself, I don't think I'll wear it to, oh, there's a lot of stock in it and I, I, I will just want it finished so I can... There are two different things. And yeah. we've, I'm sure we've all done it where you kind of go, well, I do particularly. I have spent so long knitting on this. I'm going to keep finishing it. But deep down, you know, you'll never wear. I've got yeah. so much better of going. No, it needs to come out. Yes, I have as well. That, or else you end up with loads of projects, don't you? And thinking, oh no, yeah. if you're not feeling it and it's not right, get rid of it. Yes, repurpose it, turn it into yes. something you want. You will find something for it. Um, I mean, one thing that I know I've got that got had to get put to one side for me to do that poncho last year is my Christmas jumper. Oh, that yes. is, that's not, I don't want to knit on it. That is, I've just not got around to getting back to it. And it's, yeah. I don't need it for such a long time. Yeah. But that will come out again. I'll suddenly one day I'll think, oh, I'm in the mood to do that. Colour work. I need, you know, to concentrate yeah. a bit. I want to do that. And I'll just crack on with it. So they'll come out. They will so come knitting, out. Knitting Pearl said, I've never knitted a garment. What sort of things have you knit then? Have you knit... Um, um, smaller items like hats and scarves, or have you knit things? Do you know what I mean? Like a bag or a toy? Socks. Have you done socks? socks? If you've done socks in the round, you can knit this garment. Yes. Yeah. I just inter Oh, Anita saying that she's finally blocking the geo gradient shop. Good luck. Oh, well done. Yeah, because it's ma it's massive. I think when I did mine, Anita, I didn't block it too much because I did it all in um yak I didn't really block it that much because it is quite a big shawl some of his shawls don't need too much um fierce blocking you know what I mean because they are so big one of our friends on knitting this week she's just cast off 12 days of Christmas no no oh, oh. yes the vertices. Is it? Was it the vertices unite? I was going to say that, and then I stopped myself. No, it's huge. Anyway, what? Whichever one it is, I'll tell you. Lisa, and which said, one is it that that Kathy's just finished? I can't remember the name of it. I I'll thought it was me. vertices unite, but I. Well, I was about to say vertices unite. Hang on. Ah, uh, so baby items, socks, and toys. Yeah, you'd be able to knit a garment. Slowly, steady. I think the it thing is, is, don't pick something that looks really simple because you will get bored. You need something with either colour change in it or something where the wool changes or with a little bit of a pattern in it just to keep you going, to think, yes. oh, I'll just get to that next bit. Um, it was Vertices, Vertices I, Unite. It was Vertices Unite. And she, she said, there were, did she say she'd got a 1,000 stitches or nearly? And it nearly was a... 1,000 stitches. It was a... I-cord binder. Yeah, but not a, it was a, it was a, um, they were still on, they were still all, they were all on the needle still, weren't they? What yeah. Do you call it? yeah. Lisa, help us out. Like a grown, not a grown, not a, 
Anyway, she'd got a thousand needles on her, no, um, she... a thousand stitches on her needle and had to do an eye cord. And she'd started it on Wednesday and done it on and off and finished it at the weekend. Applied. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Victoria. That's it. Applied oh. eye cord. Um, but yes, it's beautiful, but it's more like a, a blanket, isn't it? Yes. It's a shlank it. Stunning. It looks yeah, stunning, but yeah. Um, I'm pleased you lot know what you're talking about. I knew. I, I just uh, can't find the word. Uh, no, something. Kay brought to the afternoon tea on Sunday. She just, well, not just, but she's recently cast off and brought it to show us a 12 Days of Christmas in three solid yak colours. It Beautiful. looked stunning. And Kay had seen mine. I'd knit mine on a four mil instead of a three mil. And Kay said, oh, I like that. It's really drapey. It's enormous. It Huge. looks absolutely fantastic. I'm trying to see if I can find it. And while we're talking of that, we need to talk about the 12th yes. of Christmas. I've got I've it written down. I it have, written down. I've got it written down. Um, hang on, let me, I've just found it. I'd like to say I'm not drinking alcohol, I'm drinking ginger ale if anybody's thinking I'm sloshing it down. It does look... St I mean, that doesn't show the colours very well on that phone. No, no, that's making it worse. It was absolutely stunning. That's better. Pe oh, I know, because people have bought solid colours. Yeah. Three solid colours. Someone's going to prove me to be a liar, but I don't remember seeing it knit in three colours. I don't remember seeing a finished... We had, yeah, I can't remember who it was. Somebody brought it to a um a show and they'd done it in three solid colours. Uh, and that's, yeah. we, I think at the time we said, we need to have this knit in three solid colours. So over to you, Dominique, with your book. Uh, no, you've got them. I've got them. Yes. Are you sure I've got them? Ab yes. Stand by. Absolutely positive. Because I went to get oh. my book and I thought, oh, I can't find it. Um, so Monday afternoon, after the chaos of um, afternoon tea on Sunday, I went round to Marie's because, I mean, you'd cleared us out of wool, of house and home. And so we needed to get our heads together to say, what do we need to dye in prep for Buxton, which is only a month away? Um, and while we were there, we were like, well, let's go through the shores because getting show ready. So um, we'd ask you not long ago if anyone wanted to do sample knits for us because we thought we'd done everything, but we've come up with some with some more ideas. Have you found it? Well, I've got my book. Right. Um, so if anybody wants to, would like to do a sample knit for us. We're we've asking got three, people, haven't we, that we need doing? I can't remember what they are, yes. but... So we want 12 Days of Christmas, which will be in three solid colours. Which is three 100 grams, and it's a big shawl. It's beautiful, but it's a big shawl. Um, and we are looking at Lulu's Drops being knit um, in a new colour. We're going to do that in Cinder Toffee as the main colour and then the contrasts. Um, yes. And then Impish... Um, That's right. We're going yes. to have impish knit because at the minute impish is knit in seven, seven um, mini skeins with a little stripe of navy in between it, and we're going to just redo that because we're not doing the mini skeins anymore. Um, so we're going to do it in a um, a multi. We're going to do it in a, in a in a multi with a with a plain colour in between it. So it just needs. Um, so where it says, like, knit three in one colour, you just knit in all the same, but just with the different colour, just to see what it looks like. Um, yeah. So we would like three um, people, if anybody's interested. Um, and the way we normally do it is you get paid in wool. So yes. however much wool it takes to knit is usually what you end up um, getting. That's in as much as it. if it takes two balls, but you only use three quarters of each ball, you would get two balls, not... The amount you've knit does that yes. make sense? And obviously, you get to keep the pattern. Um, yes. But uh, yes. Yeah, so if anybody's interested, we're not on a huge 
timeline for it. I no. mean, we'd like it. We would love it if it could be done for Wool Monty, one of them. But, you know, we're realistic. So, um, yeah, we've got the Arnold like Ellen September. Well. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they yeah. are the three shawls. So Lulu's dropped his fairly small, asymmetrical um That's shawl. 100 grams and four minis. Yes, four minis. And then we've got Impish, which is sort of a um, a long, thin scarf with an off-centre spine. Um, yeah. And that takes 200, ball, uh, 200 balls, 200 grams. But um, 250. Days of yeah, 12 Days of Christmas is a bigger shawl. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the ones that we've had, it's the first time I'd seen them in the flesh on Monday. Some of the ones we've had back are stunning, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Really, really nice. Yeah, um, some really nice colours. And yeah. then Wendy's just sent us back her new crochet pattern for this year, and that looks beautiful. I've only seen that on camera, but Marie said mm. it looks stunning. The way that the yarn's pulled is is amazing. But yes, so we've got um we've got a few different things to be coming yes. and, and kits and things. But uh, yes, I, I've nearly forgotten about that. It was only with you talking about the twelve days. No, I hadn't. I'd got it was on my list at the top of oh, my list for what to mention. Oh, um, because if I'd not written it down, I would have forgotten it. Um, so if anybody is interested, just either send us a message or yeah. um. Let us know. Sarah's just put you our pictures of the shawls. They're all on the website. Or do you have pictures of I don't what pictures of what the shawls you want we want doing? Or are you still talking about Kathy's? I'm confused. Oh, pictures of what Sarah? Yes. Um, um, was there anything else? I mean, have we forgotten anything? Uh, uh, have we left Probably. any? Um, well, maybe, but have you got any unanswered questions about the knitting? Anything? Yeah. Um, what was the middle one in Lulu's drops? Oh, I keep calling it Lulu's drops. It's Lulu's Sunday shawl. Um, so the. The main colour that goes through it, so in Lulu's Sunday shawl at the minute, it's... Um, it's Lulu's uh, Drops. Lulu's Drops, which is quite pale. So that will be um, Cinder Toffee. And then the contrasting colours, which do the bands, will be orange, silver and charcoal. I was just trying to find a... Look, look, Have you not look. got the shawl there? Not easily. Okay. I mean, I could go and get it, couldn't I? But are you trying to find a picture? I was oh, just I've trying got... to find a picture. I thought that. Oh, I've got I a thought picture on my phone. the picture stand... would be easier. Stand by, stand by, stand by. But you're I've right. Got... I have actually got the shawl. Well, I'm saying I've got a picture on my sh on my phone. Right. I mean, Sarah's just saying yes to shawls. Then let me go and. Well, I think I've got impish, so you go and get that. I'll get impish. You can't Goodbye. just leave. You can't just leave everybody. I'll rub it. I'm only going out there. I'm oh. going over to here. Ah! You expect chaos from us. I'm only going here. In your cupboard. Stand by, impish. I don't know where it is. Found it. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. Found it. Right. So, impish. Oh, I love wearing this one. I must admit, because it's got every colour in it. So, as you can see, it's um, we did it with different colours. So instead of it changing colours like that, it will just be these stripes here will be a multicolour with the contrast colour. So it'll just be one colour then with the different stripes put in, in the contrast. 
because we don't want to do the mini set anymore. We've sort of we saw quite a lot of this over the years. What is that on there? Looks like I've spilled a cup of tea on it, which is anything's possible. Look at that. Uh, either that or chocolate. Um, so that will be two colours. So a multicoloured will be the um, um Minis. different coloured stripes, and then where the change is in the navy, that will be the alternating um solid colour that we'll have with it. But it's quite a long shawl, but it is really easy knitting. Um yeah, it's 240 grams. But it's it's nice shawl to wear because you can literally change it up with whatever colour you want to show. So um, I like that shawl. Um, and the reason we're not doing it anymore is because I've I've just refused to keep dyeing the minis. It's, I hate it's it. It's a lot of minis, isn't it? And they 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 were the crown jewel minis, so they it's were a different lot of work. Minis. Yeah, it's a lot of work to do because they are them colours are not in anything else. So it's not as if I just dye all the minis we need for other things. They've got to be absolutely just for them. And I Sue 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 Birchall said she'll do either Lulu or Impish. So that is Lulu. So yeah. where it is, pale scarlet, pale forest, pale navy. It's going to be. Whatever Marie's just said, and Lulu's drops is going to be Cinder Toffee. Yeah, and you so don't have got... to do the pom poms on it. Don't panic. No, no, don't do the forget pom -poms. the pom poms. Just send so the we... wool back, and I'll do the pom poms. We've got summer, spring, summer, and then we're going to have an autumn version. Yes, because yeah. it's very autumnal. So, which one would you prefer to do? Yeah, between Sarah and Sue. First one to put your name down wins. Yeah. Interested in Lulu or Impishu? You don't block it and don't weave the ends in. Just send no. it back to me because then I'll block them um, and I'll do all the um, faffing about it. So, yes. Yeah, yeah, literally just cast it off and that's it. Yeah. Um. So it's just between you two then as to who wants to do which then. So. Yeah. Just decide which one you would prefer, or if you first don't one, care. First one to comment wins. Yeah, first one to comment wins. Um, but, yeah, I do like – I know you, Dominic hates it because she hates dyeing it, but I do like it because it's got so many colours in. Sue so says Lulu. Sarah, are right. you happy with Impish? Are you happy with Impish, Sarah? She likes Cinder Toffee, yes, yeah, so do I. Oh, perfect. Sarah prefers yeah. the one you've got, which is impish. Yes, um, Sarah, if you could have it, have it done before Yarndale, that would be perfect. Yes. Yeah, that would be brilliant. Thank you. Um, so I'll post the wool out. Have we got enough of the wool? I was going to think I could put it in with the. Can't remember. We've got the cinder toffee. I don't know if we've got the minis. No, Sarah's. Sarah's getting. Oh, that, yeah, because I dyed it on Monday. You've dyed the lining? Yes. 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 So we've got that, so I can send that out with you um, with all your other stuff, Sarah, with your veg box. I'll send it out. Have you done a 50? Have you done 150 and a 50? And I've done 100. We'll sort it out. I've done 100. Yeah, because I was going to say, if we end up sending 200 grams, just send back what we've got so we know how much it needs for the kit. That's all I was going to say. Yes. Yes. Right, sorted. So that's oh. those two. So we just need a contender for the um, 12 days of Christmas. Um. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Sorted. We're all sorted. Thank you very much. Have you written that down? No, I haven't written it down. I haven't got a pen next to me. I can remember that. Not. I'll sort it. And Sue, I'll send yours out as well. Wendy's saying send it with... The veg box. Yeah. Perfect. It's already there. It's already there. We don't do it very often. We don't have chance to get together, have like all the shawls out, play with the different colours. Let me find and, a pen. And decide what I'll I'll write it down, Marie. Okay. And decide what we're, down oh, down. and decide what we're going to do. So that's what we did on Monday. 
Um, and then I came back and dyed the lightning, so it was all ready to go. Oh, well done. Um, yeah, and I can send it to, uh, the other one out as well. We're all sorted. That's, I mean, it's been very admin heavy and not much knitting or crochet, but that's what happens in life, I'm afraid. And, and to be fair, we didn't have much knitting and crochet to show, did we? So it's probably better it's been a bit like that. Yes. But if we'd not had all the other things, we would have had knitting and crochet. So you, it's one or the other. Yeah, It's one exactly. or the other. Um. So no, yeah, that's fine, Sarah. And if you do if, find that you're having problems, Sarah, just let us know. And if we have to rejig it, we can sort it. Yeah, don't worry about it. That's absolutely fine. Um, those of you that have already got your pattern and cast on, Kay and Caroline, I know I'm looking at you because they it, were there it, on Sunday. Is, is that not though that somebody's actually cast on two as well? Has someone cast on two? Caroline's cast on too, hasn't she? Oh, no, I thought she said it wasn't her make-along one. No, but I didn't that's know, still casting on too. I didn't think she'd cast the second one on. <gasps> Maybe. Anyway, um, I'll put the hashtag in here, but start sharing. Because there might be people thinking, oh, I'm not sure, Roman and Ari, or I'm not sure what yes. colours. So share whatever you've got. Yeah. Or you may be going, I'm not sure what colour, what do you think looks better? I've got this wool. Do you think it would look better in this? Do you think it looked look better in that? Because um, Victoria on Knitting on Wednesday, she's got 100 grams she wants to use, and she's only got 100 grams of it. So she's going to do um, a contrast at the neck before the lace and maybe sleeves. Yes. She say? Yeah. You know, so there'll be all sorts of, different combinations out there and we had people at the afternoon tea who um are using a sparkle and a sock the exactly the same color but they're going to knit it sort of helical so it's got a little bit of sparkling and you know do it that way you can do what you like, do what you and like. That, that had nothing to do with the fact that there were only two of that colorway and they wanted it so they went sock and sparkle if you want to join in the madness, the next afternoon tea is the 30th of May. Yes. Yes. It, it can't and they be... are starting to... Um, the ones further down, are, you know, have still got vacancies, but they do sell out quite quickly because it, it seems to be that, like, somebody will say, oh, well, I'll bring my friend and they'll bring that. And then before we know it, there's, like, six people booked all in one day and they seem, the space seems go, don't they? Yeah. It was really nice. We had some new faces... And one of them was really kind and just sent us an email to say it was her first time, but she really enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, and was looking forward to coming again. So if you if you want to come by yourself, we've said it before, you'd be you'll never sit by yourself and get just left. Not alone unless you want to. Unless you no, want, unless to, you want to. Yeah. But there's always people to chat to. So um yeah. You know, and it, look what happens. Utter chaos. Utter chaos. That's exactly right. What right. I think we better wrap this up. I need to go and make some food. I'm hungry now and it's quarter past seven. I know. So um, we will be oh, back. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Eve's just saying I'm contrasting neck and have a lace cast off on the special, off in the special from the retreat. Very nice. Yeah, there'll be all Perfect. sorts. So we're right. back next Friday. Yes, we are back next Friday. So we are, aren't we? We are. It's Dad's birthday. But we won't do anything at three o'clock. So, yes, we are. Are you sure we're? Yes, absolutely. Well, if we change, we'll, you'll you'll know in the week. Yeah, if we do no, we won't. Three o'clock on Friday, we'll be absolutely fine. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, okay, then. I was going to say something else, but I don't know what. So have right. a good weekend, everybody. Yes. If you've got any questions, just send us messages. We can yes. try and respond to them. And have a good weekend. Ask them on the Knit and Natter page and everyone else can help as well. Yes, exactly. So, and those have of you who have the Knit and Natter page on Facebook, there's just a little few questions you need to answer and then we accept you into the madness. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Have fun and we'll see you all next week.
Take care, everybody. Bye. And um, we will.